In remote Arnhem Land alone, more than 100,000 buffalo are causing devastation. We see, you know, a number of times um, damage to water, damage to, um, you know, special uh, habitats for endangered species. They also like to scratch themselves against rock shelters, damaging ancient art. We got a sacred site in the way they could go anyway and then rub themselves against them rock. It costs top-end Indigenous ranger groups thousands of dollars in rough terrain driving and helicopter flying hours to find the buffalo so they can be removed. So they're cooperating with the CSIRO and tech companies to better track and predict the herd's movements. We can now provide them with the tools that allow them to understand where animals are at certain times of the year and then what is some of the best ways they might want to undertake control activities. They've tagged the animals so they can be tracked by satellite. The system then models the landscape and estimates the cost of using different routes to intercept them, promising big dollar savings. For most operations it would be in the tens and if not hundreds of thousands. Some Aboriginal communities hope the system will help them better balance their environmental and financial concerns. They want to stop the damage, but they also want to keep earning money from allowing meat companies to muster buffalo on their land. This exactly helps resolve that issue. Like Landowners will be able to see where the animals are going, where they're causing damage, where we need to keep them out most consistently. But when it comes to those money-making opportunities, you're straight to the money. Scientists hope the system can eventually be adapted to track lots of different kinds of feral animals, damaging ecosystems across Australia. Jane Barton, ABC News.